Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. Time to find out what's going on over at the Blank Park Zoo. We tell you about the zoo being open year round, regardless of what the weather is outside, because there's plenty of activities that you can enjoy indoors. And here is one of them right now. Kayla Freeman, the large mammal supervisor, is joining us right now. And you are hanging out with the giraffes. That is so cool. <laughs> Hi, Kayla. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Who's our buddy behind you there? We have Jacoby right behind us. He's right. our 16 year old male. <laughs> All right. Tell us a little bit more about Jacoby and uh, you know how maybe how long he's been at the zoo and what people can expect. Yeah, um, Jacoby's been here for several years. Um, he is just over 16 feet tall, um, about 1800 pounds. So he's a he's a big boy. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize um, they were that heavy. Yeah, yep. And so he's inside today, obviously, to stay dry from the rain. Um, and he's by himself, so we alternate our male and females um, inside for San just because there's not quite enough space for them to interact inside. Um, so today we have Jacoby, and then other days of the week we have Zola, Sky, and Raza um, viewable in our sand stall. Okay, and, and you're talking about the area there that people can come into and see the giraffes up close and dry, <laughs> right? Yes. Yep. Yep. Right behind me. Everybody can come in here and view the giraffe. All right. Now, somebody asked me, they knew that we were talking to uh, the, the folks about giraffes today over at the zoo. Uh, how cold uh, can they stand or how warm does it need to be before they can go outside and play? Um, to put them out on exhibit, we usually wait till it's at least 45 degrees. We did just have um, a holding yard built behind the sand stall. Um, so on colder days, they can have access to that. So they still can go outside, but they have the warm barn that they can come back into. Okay, so that's really good news. Now, when people come in and they see the giraffes, uh, we, we know that they uh, they have amazing uh, characteristics and traits. But one of the thing, uh, things that really gets people's attention are their tongues and how long their tongues are, right? Yep. Yeah, they're about 18 inches long. So they're pretty long and they're a dark purple kind of to act as... Um, like a sun repellent for them <laughs> and, and they wrap yeah. their tongues around things to pull the leaves off. So they use them to grab things with They're, they have that yep. much dexterity in their tongues. Now when people come in and view them inside like that, are there any opportunities that people can get where they could, uh, they could feed them and they could see the, the, the tongue up close? Yep. Then the summer for sure. Um, 11 and one. And three, yes, <laughs> they can come and um, pay to feed the giraffe some lettuce. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you have some lettuce and they will, they will come and they'll gently take it from your hand. Uh, yep. Definitely a picture moment, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, but they are some of the neatest animals that we have at the Blank Park Zoo. And, and total, in uh, what do we have number of giraffes at the Blank Park Zoo? We have four giraffes now. Okay, and they are? Their names? Yes. Jacoby. <laughs> Sky, Zola, and Raza. And, and Raza is the, the young one, right? Yep, yep. He was born last January. So he was born at 125 pounds, six feet tall, and now he's over 10 feet tall and weighs about 650 pounds. So wow. he's getting big fast. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is so cool. But that's just one of the things we could check out at the Blank Park Zoo. Um, you know, if you want to spend an evening at the zoo, uh, you have wild lights going on. Tell us all about that. Yeah, so right now, Wednesday through Sunday nights, we have the Wild Lights Festival here at the zoo. So if you came last year, it was really awesome. This year we have brand new um, sculptures and they're, the lanterns are lit up at night and they're really cool. Um, you should definitely check it out. Okay, is this something that you want to get your tickets online before you get there? Yep, they are cheaper online if you purchase them in advance. Um, they are more expensive at the door, so definitely plan ahead. <laughs> okay, yeah, and there's really neat ones. Make sure you check out the cannon. There's a really cool cannon <laughs> that the kids can trigger by jumping on a platform, and you see the, the wick uh, you know, get all the way over to the cannon, then it, it shoots out a little puff of smoke. It is really a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, that is so cool. Well, listen, thank you so much for visiting with us, and uh, people want more information about the Blank Park Zoo, where can they go online? Yep, then go to blankparkzoo.com. All right, great. Thank you for visiting with us, and we will talk to you next time. 
All right, thank you. All right, how about we talk about some of the things we can celebrate today? Do you have a doppelganger out there? How, did anybody ever tell you you have somebody who looks just like you? Well, today is National Lookalike Day, Volunteer Recognition Day, and then we get loaded down with food items. Have some cheddar fries today, maybe a banana, and if you like pineapple upside down cake, this is your day. Well, hopefully everybody can stay dry and we will see you back here tomorrow for another edition of Iowa Live on Local 5. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.